All right, so I don't know if I'm gonna end up uploading this, but I just wanted to make a video because um, I was looking at videos on YouTube about dial-up and the only results I really saw for like dialing up in 2021 or dialing up in 2020 was either someone using some service like some like retro like retro net I know that's not a thing but like something like that that made a dial-up service so it still works and there's some other people making their own service with some like old win 2k computer and then just making a couple of router circles and then doing it but what you need to know is that you don't need to do that if you still have the phone jacks active in your house i got a tri splitter because i still want our landline phone plugged in yes we do have a landline in this house i took i've had this for a while some trisonic big button phone i've just had it for a while and i realized on the back here see there's two cables there's a data port and I know, and I looked it up just to make sure that I'm correct. And that is for fax and modems, computer, like dial-up modems. So, and I grabbed my, so I grabbed my Dell, uh, Dimension 3000, great computer, 15 bucks. Um, it has a modem in it. So, first time ever using a modem in the computer like that, right down there, plugged in, daisy chained it, plugged it into the data port. And I'm just making this video to show you that you do not need to pay for any service, you do not need to pay for this. Just buy a phone, make sure you have a modem card in your Dell. You don't need to pay for any service. You don't need to make your own weird daisy chain uh, network. You just, for me, if I type in my Wi-Fi password, I don't know why that is, but just type my Wi-Fi password in and let the dial go. And I just, and it's verifying the password, I just, um, I looked up, so basically, how I got those numbers, that number, I actually, it's kind of funny way, I looked up local, um, local area codes, and just tried them, went to AOL 9.0 here, and put in a couple numbers, here you can see, and AOL gave me the numbers, oops, go away, AOL gave me these numbers. So, I took those numbers and put them in to the modem dialer. Now, why is it not connecting? I just reset this so it would connect. I think I was typing my password wrong. I just typed it slow. I was absolutely typing my password wrong. So here we go. And my speakers just blew out. <laughs> oh shoot. I think my speakers just died. I mean, these are crap dollar store piece speakers, so I'm not surprised. But they absolutely just blew out with this obnoxious noise. Ew. Unless it still makes noise, let's see. Oh no, they're not blown out. I'll redial the number because that's weird. Tip it slow. Okay, and it's dialing. Come on, don't do that weird thing again. I did just change the number because I'm not sure if the other one was working. I can just try another number. I only selected three numbers out of the list. There's like hundreds of numbers that popped up from AOL, so I could be here for days. But I just changed it. It was working all day. I was literally on the internet with dial up. So yeah, I don't know. But this modem is great. It's not the fastest. The fastest I've seen it goes 50.5 or 50.7. It's 
so obnoxious. I've always wanted to dial up and now I finally can. It's gonna get stuck. Nope, there you go. Registering. Resin's not connected at, f oh, 53. That's a little fast right now. Just to confirm, boom. Now I'm not gonna show my IP, but you can see modem, Intel modem, Intel 9X modem. Here we go and I'll show you on IE because Firefox is really slow on uh, dial up, but here you go, I could look up all right, let's look up uh, men because that's what we're on right now. And you, wow, it's kind of fast right now. And you can tell it's dial up from these speeds. <laughs> and um, my I do have a wireless card in here, but it is not active. I, I purposefully disconnected it for this process and you can see this would not be Wi-Fi. If I went on Wi-Fi, it would be much, much faster. I couldn't even load the uh, the security page. Yeah, sometimes you have to disable your firewall for it to work, but you absolutely do not need to pay jacked up prices for stupid retro services. Get a phone cable. You don't actually need the phone here, I don't think, but I'm leaving in there because it's, it's so funny. Um, so just get a cable, plug it into your modem if you have one, uh, just use, download AOL 9.0, or just find numbers. Uh, yeah, I was looking at the GeForce 3050, hoping I can get it. Um, but yeah, you should be good. Let's try to click on an image, see how long this takes. Oh yeah, uh, save picture. Sure, save the picture, save the picture. Let's see how long it takes to save. Dimension 3000. Okay. Let's see, I have not tried to save anything. Let's see. I didn't know Dell included flowers. Oh, big, oh, actually some nice things. Dell included, yeah, this is fact, factory. Is it really that fast? No way. No way, it's already in. There's absolutely no way it's that fast. Holy shit. It's that fast. What? Okay. Jessic. There it is. Wow. It actually downloaded that fast. But yeah. I, I honestly would have thought dial-up was slower. And then we can disconnect from dial-up. And we're done. I just wanted to make this video to prove that you can absolutely still dial-up with no weird service or anything. You don't need anywhere. Let me turn my speakers down. You absolutely do not need any weird services. You don't need to make some weird uh, network through Raspberry Pi or any old computer. You do not need to do that. You can absolutely still dial up in 2022. And this will also absolutely still work until they uh, remove RJ11 support, which will not happen because millions of people still use home phones and it's in basically every single house. I doubt they will ever, any company will ever remove phone services because that would be, that would be bad if they removed it. So uh, technically you can dial up whenever you want uh, and it will never run out of support. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video.